Good morning children. The topic that we are going to discuss today that is vitamin and mineral deficiency diseases. And learner, you already know that balanced diet is very important for us. Because if unbalanced diet continues over a long period of time, the person will suffer from various diseases. And the diseases which are caused by the deficiency of some nutrient over a long period of time are called deficiency diseases. And there are many deficiency diseases which are caused due to the lack of various nutrients. Let us discuss some deficiency diseases. The deficiency diseases have two major categories. Protein energy malnutrition diseases and the lack of protective food. The second group further classified into two different groups mineral deficiency diseases and vitamin deficiency diseases. The deficiency diseases due to the protein energy malnutrition are kwashiorkor and marasmus that we already have discussed. And the deficiency diseases due to the lack of protective food it include the lack of vitamins and minerals so first we discuss about the deficiency diseases of minerals calcium is essential for the strong teeth and bones and it is also important for muscle movement and nervous system the deficiency of calcium causes the muscular cramps, weak bones, abnormal heartbeat, weak teeth. And the major disease caused due to the lack of calcium is osteoporosis. So, it leads to deficiency of calcium leads to weak and fragile bones and lose the whiteness of teeth. The next mineral is the phosphorus. The phosphorus is also needed for the development of bones and teeth and it constitute all the body cells. So its uh, lack of phosphorus also leads to poor teeth and weak bones. The next mineral that is very important that is the iron. Iron is necessary for making a protein called hemoglobin. Hemo what is the hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is the red color pigment present in the blood that carry oxygen to the all parts of body. And this hemoglobin is present in the red blood cells. And this hemoglobin helps in carrying the oxygen from lungs to the all parts of body. The deficiency of iron result in the lack of hemoglobin and therefore lack of RBCs causes poor absorption of oxygen which leads to the fatigue or tiredness and poor performance in work. This also leads to the pale yellow body and weakness in the body and the disease which is caused due to the lack of iron is called anemia so what we should do we should take more and more iron rich food stuff like green leafy vegetables carrot jaggery apple beetroot etc next vitamin that we are discussing that is the iodine and iodine is needed for making the thyroid hormone which help in carry out the chemical process and keep the cells healthy. And the deficiency of iodine causes poor development of body especially it leads to the mental retardness and it causes the deficient deficiency of thyroxine hormone. So the disease caused due to the lack of iodine is called goiter in which 
thyroid gland present in the neck swell up abnormally next are the vitamin deficiency diseases and first we discuss types of vitamin there are two type of vitamin on the basis of their solubility first are the fat soluble vitamin the vitamin a d e k are the fat soluble vitamin whereas vitamin b and c are the water soluble vitamins and vitamin b include vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 that's why it is known as the b complex so it is the first vitamin that first to be discovered now the disease caused due to the lack of vitamin a is the night blindness the vitamin a deficiency causes poor vision or it may cause the night blindness or even the complete blindness also there is the dullness in the eyes and the skin become dry due to the deficiency of vitamin a so we should take vitamin a rich food to cure the disease night blindness like carrot yellow fruits butter green leafy vegetable milk etc next the disease caused due to the lack of vitamin b is the beri beri it is a disease which cause the weak muscles extreme weakness and paralysis in body part and this disease is characterized by a cracked corner of the mouth and to recover the beri beri we should take the vitamin b rich food that are the sprouts pulses green leafy vegetable milk cereals etc next the disease scurvy that is caused due to the lack of vitamin c and there is the bleeding from the gums and inability of body to heal the bounds and there is a swelling in the joints or pain in the joints and the symptom that leads to the disease that is called the scurvy due to the lack of vitamin c then how we can cure it we should take vitamin c rich food like the amla orange tomato lemon etc next the due to the lack of vitamin d the disease cause that is called the rickets and lack of vitamin d also leads to the poor absorption of calcium because vitamin d help in the absorption of calcium that we take in the various food stuff and the disease caused due to the lack of vitamin d is the rickett and it is in this disease the bones become very soft weak and also causes bow shaped legs and this vitamins is a free vitamin that we get from sunlight and we should also uh, take these food item to get the vitamin d like the cold liver oil egg curd ghee butter etc beside this uh, diet we should take the enough sunlight and let's recap for these vitamin and uh, mineral deficiency diseases first is the vitamin a that is the night blindness and symptom are poor vision vitamin b1 that is the beri beri that causes the extreme weakness vitamin c is deficiency is caused scurvy that is characterized by the bleeding gums vitamin d that its deficiency leads to rickets and it is characterized by soft and weak bones and then minerals calcium that is also only to disease osteoporosis it means weak bones and tooth decay and iodine leads to the disease goiter and goiter is characterized by the swollen gland in the neck region and last is the main important minerals iron and its deficiency leads to the disease anemia 
that is the less blood content and it causes the weakness and pale yellow body so beside these diseases when the people do not get the sufficient food to eat they become weak and such condition is called malnutrition and what what are the uh, causes of this malnutrition the malnutrition is the state in which the person do not get the sufficient food to eat and its main causes are absence of protein carbohydrate vitamins and mineral the main cause of the malnutrition is the poverty due to the lack of food number of children are faces this condition and how we can prevent these deficiency diseases we must take some common step to prevent the deficiency diseases and stay healthy we should always careful about our personal cleanliness like hand wash and other uh, uh, clean the surrounding area etc and we should eat good and healthy or balanced diet to keep our body healthy next we must must follow the good food practices and habit like exercise and the other things and also drink the plenty of water to keep our body healthy after that you should consult your doctor time to time if you are have some symptom regarding this these vitamin and mineral deficiency diseases so you should take balanced diet to prevent these diseases thank you have a nice day